to do your medallion, you will need some ceiling panels. Actually, my hubby and I bought a pack just for about $35 with seven panels in it. So it was just about $5 per panel and they're four by two. So that's a pretty good price. So you will need your ceiling panel. Then you have to decide where you are gonna put your medallion, the size you need and the shape you need. And then you will go ahead and do your, and cut your medallion. I find that to cut straight lines, it's very easy to do just on a table saw. And then in order to cut my curves, what I did was to use a drywall saw. Now, after you have your pan, your medallion all cut out in the design you need, all you need to do next is to use your basic drywall compound to make your pattern. Now, for the medallion I showed you earlier on, what I did was I wanted pattern wave patterns. So what I did was just to use my spatula, two different sizes, and I put my drywall compound onto my panel. I'm going to show you a little how I did it. So I basically just got my drywall compound and I put it on to my medallion. And then when I was finished putting it on, what I did was just to use my spatula, spatula and just go ahead and play around with the wet drywall compound just to create a wave-like pattern. Now, after you're done creating your pattern and you're satisfied with your pattern, you will have to leave it to dry. Okay, so when you have achieved your pattern, you put it aside and leave it to dry. And then after it's dry, then you want to go ahead and paint. Now, I just use the wall paint that I'll be using in my space where the medallion is going to be used on the ceiling. And I, for this one, I just went in with my brush. And actually, I should tell you how I got this pattern on this medallion here. All I did was to apply my drywall compound and then I laid it flat and then I just put my gloves on and then I just played with the drywall compound while it was wet in order to create all the different movements. Almost like there's wind blowing in the grass or something. And then I left it to dry and I went in with my green paint and I did almost a dry brush. Now you don't wanna to get too much paint on the brush so what you have to do is when you dip your brush in your paint, you're basically going to wipe both sides off. So the brush is basically dry. And just go ahead and paint your panel. I painted my panel here following the lines. So I did it with the green first. And then I went in with the blue after. And you're doing a dry brush, as I said before, so you make sure you take excess paint off both sides after your green is dry. And go ahead with your blue again and just follow your lines and just play with the patterns that are on your panel in order to get it painted in the way you want it to be. After you finish with your painted panel, you're going to set it to dry in a few hours because what I used was um, water-based paint. So if you use water-based paint, then two, three hours are good enough for it to dry. And then 
after it's dry, you're going to go ahead and use a clear coat just to go over. Mine is not quite dry right now, so I'll just wait. I'm, maybe I'll wait until tomorrow to apply the clear coat to your the panel. Now, I should mention something also what I did when I was doing it because it's going to be on the ceiling during painting. I held it above my head a little and just look up at it to see what it's going to look like when it's on the ceiling. It's just like looking on a paint color that you're going to put on your wall. The best thing to do is to put that paint color on the wall vertically and look at it. Don't look at it horizontally because light hits it at different angles and it can look different. So go ahead and take a look at it over your head and when you're satisfied, as I said, let it dry. Use your clear coat and then you are ready when it's dry to install it on your ceiling. That is my DIY ceiling medallion. Hope this helps. And if you decide to try, just send me some pictures at contact at ValerieVernon.com. Thank you so much again for watching and for subscribing to my channel. Tell somebody about it. See ya.